In this video, we'll be looking at applications of right triangles, specifically bearing. There are two ways to express bearing. When a single angle is given, it's understood to be a measurement from due north in a clockwise direction. So a bearing of sixty one degrees, we would start with our due north and then go clockwise so that the terminal side then was sixty one degrees away. This would be a sixty one degree angle. A bearing of three hundred thirty degrees. Again, we start with due north and we would go three hundred and thirty degrees, which is almost a complete revolution. It's actually thirty degrees short of a complete revolution. So our angle here would be 330 degrees. The second method starts with a north-south line. The bearing is an acute angle either east or west of this line. So a bearing of north 42 degrees east would be start with your north-south line and we want to go east 42 degrees. So east is clockwise and 42 degrees would be here. A bearing of south 31 degrees east Again, we start with our north-south line, only this time from the south line we go 31 degrees east, so our terminal side would end up here and this angle would be 31 degrees. A bearing of south 40 degrees west Start with your north-south line, and then we want the south line, and we want 40 degrees west, so our terminal side would be here, and our angle would be 40 degrees, and then a bearing of north 52 degrees west. Start with your north-south line and we want to go west so 52 degrees. This angle would be 52 degrees. Radar stations A and B are on an east-west line 8.6 kilometers apart. Station A detects a plane at C on a bearing of 53 degrees. Station B simultaneously detects the same plane on a bearing of 323 degrees. Find the distance from B to C. So we would start with this first sentence, radar stationed A and B are on an east-west line 8.6 kilometers apart. Since A detects the plane at a bearing of 53 degrees, I'm going to put A here on this point, and then B I'll put at this point. 
and the distance between the two is 8.6. Now the reason that I put A here is because I need um, a bearing of 53 degrees. So from our north, we want a bearing of 53 degrees. So we're going to move in this direction clockwise. 53 degrees and the bearing and so it just goes keeps on going but this is 53 degrees this angle now the reason I said that this keeps going is because now I need to look at the bearing from point B station B and where that one intersects is going to be our plane. So for bearing B, station B, um, he detects the same plane on a bearing of 323. So from our north line, three hundred twenty-three degrees is going to come around to here and that bearing then intersects the other one at this point right here. So this angle around this point is 323. Now our question um, the plane is at point C, so that means this point is called C. And our question is to find the distance from B to C. So we can call this X. Now we need to, we see a triangle here. We don't know if it's a right triangle, but we'll soon find out. Um, we do know that our east-west line is perpendicular to the due north line. So if this angle is 53 degrees, this angle is going to be 90 minus 53, which is 37 degrees right here. And then for this one to get our angle inside this triangle, we can take 323 and subtract 270 because three quarters of the way around uh, a complete circle is 270 degrees. So 323 subtract 270 is 53 degrees. Now if I add these two up, 37 degrees and 53 degrees, I see that I have 90 degrees. So these are my two acute angles, and then this is going to be my right angle. So this is indeed a right triangle, and we can use right triangle trig to solve for x. Well, we can see that the side opposite the right angle is 8.6. And then uh, we can either use this angle or this one. It doesn't matter. Let's use this one, 53. That means our x is adjacent to the 53. So I'll have to use cosine. And I can state that the cosine of 53 degrees is equal to adjacent, which is x, over hypotenuse, which is 8.6. Now to get x by itself, I need to multiply both sides by 8.6. So x is equal to 8.6 Make sure that you're in degrees. Um, 8.6 times the cosine of 53. All right, 
now um, I have two significant digits, so I want to write this as 5.2 kilometers. <laughs> 